Hello, my name is Lukas Oldenburg and today I'm going to show you the new report builder for Google Sheets, part of the Adobe Analytics Component Manager by Datacroft. With the Google Sheets report builder, you can take reports from your Adobe Analysis workspace or a custom query and import the same data into a Google Sheet. You can also get reports in daily granularity, you can schedule them to run regularly, you can export up to 50,000 rows per report because that is the maximum that the reporting API allows for. If you use daily granularity, every day can get up to 50,000 rows. This makes it easy to connect to other tools where you join the data like Google Data Studio or to build a Google Sheets based visualization slash dashboard on top of it. First of all, we need to create a report tab because each report will be tied to a single tab. For this, I go to AA Component Manager, Reports, and then create new report. Keep in mind that a Google Sheet can handle only so much data, um, up to 10 million rows officially, but if you get over a million, it already gets pretty slow. So I recommend creating a separate sheet um, without the other component manager tabs and then have just the um, component, component manager based report tabs in there. And uh, the first step here is to give our report a, a name. So we're going to call this Datacraft Report 1. And then the component manager adds a new tab. And there it is. So now I have to decide what data do I actually want in this report. For this, I go to my analysis workspace. So click on Help and then Enable Debugger and it will ask you to reload the page. And once you've reloaded it, you'll see little bugs on top of each table. We're going to use this table as the basis for our Google Sheets report. And we're going to click on the debug icon, then on freeform table, and then the last time this freeform table was created. And we scroll down to get the JSON payload. So we copy that to clipboard. So here on request, not response, and cancel. And we go back to our Google Sheet. And here we have a field called query payload. And it says paste in JSON from analysis workspace debug mode. And this is what we're going to do. We're just going to paste it one to one exactly the way it was there. Um, we'll skip granularity for now, but of course we need some start and end date. and. As you can see here, I've used um, formulas. So you can use formulas. And if you did, would then later use a schedule here, you could say, I want a daily schedule. And then I would do a report, activate schedule. Then it will always get me every day, it would get a new report with the last seven days relative to the current days. Of course, I can set the number of results. As we've seen in that other table, it has only like 10 rows. So we don't really need that many rows but you can go up to 50,000 here. So here in this case, I guess we're going to be fine with a thousand if we ever get there. Um, and then of course we need to set the start and end date here. For the example, I'm going to just going to use a fixed date. So you can double click here to pick a date from the calendar or you can just type it in manually. So I'll type it in. It was the 22nd of February, 2021. So oh, just one day of data. And now I go to Adobe Analytics Component Manager, Reports, Run Report, and now I have to wait a little bit. Of course, it depends on how big the report is, how much data you want. If you want a whole year of data, that's gonna take a lot longer than just one day. And um, of course, if your report is so big that the API can't handle it, then the Google Sheets Component Manager will also not be able to handle it, but you see it's already there. The report is has finished and yeah that's been the first example so let's look at another example here we have a campaign tracking code report so again we copy the query data the last one is always on the bottom scroll down copy the clipboard cancel open the component manager again and we can either now just replace this query or we can create a new tab. Let's create a new tab with another report. And let's call this report data craft report two. So here we are. 
we paste our query in here again and now we want a like a daily granularity report so we want not just the campaign names um, like we've seen here the campaign tracking codes like we have seen them here but we want like the first uh, um, column to be the day and the second column to be the tracking code and this is kind of hard to do in analysis workspace especially if you have a lot of rows it's basically impossible but it's possible in the Google Sheets component manager for Adobe Onyx by Datacroft and um, so I just say daily and I'll leave these seven days here I think that's going to be enough for our demo and here let's see how many rows we have in Adobe Analytics so it's 2648 rows for the last 14 days so I want to make sure that we really have all the tracking codes for every day um, so um, let's do 5,000 rows and that means not 5,000 rows of all rows together but 5,000 rows per day and as for the headers we can choose to show component names so then the, the values will be like in the interface so we'll say campaign tracking code instances visits form starts and so on or we can say component IDs and that's better for technical use because if then it will show the actual component IDs like uh, cryptic IDs or variable slash event 77 um, and that is of course better for data integrations because these IDs don't change but names can change anytime you change them into in the interface or via the component editor so let's start our report run run the report and of course this is going to take a little bit longer but let's watch here we have the first day already and it's importing them by day and then we have the second day and let's see if the third day is also here fourth day is here and you see we're already almost at 11,000 rows now fifth day and two more days to go 27th 28th and the report has completed successfully that was easy great so um, but we can also now schedule this and I want to schedule this to run daily there's no other options besides daily right now but they might be added in the future so I choose daily I click on AA component manager reports activate schedule confirm and successfully scheduled report on tab data graph report 2 to run daily and here's the schedule ID and you also see this written down here if you don't want the schedule anymore easy as deactivating the schedule and that would then deactivate the schedule so that's it thanks for watching and for any questions please reach out to me lucas oldenburg is my name again and have fun